This is what you have to do, all right? A couple guys asked me on the, this one, coach, why don't I go here? Why don't I lift, all right? I don't because the first thing that's gonna hit the mat when I lift him high is what? Head. He's head and shoulder. And if I can't control that, I don't care if I'm the strongest kid ever. If I trip on my own feet or if I come down, I'm winning 7-1 in the state semis, and you're wrestling a kid who will stay down, you are now in the Conti bracket. Right? So I, I think this is just as effective and it gives you your turf. Yep. Gives you your turf. I, I map return and I'm back here. Different. You're in college, you can spike them on their head. Right? They don't call it. Right? So as they learn it, that's fine. But in a big match, just be, be smart with that. And knowing that if I go claw, right, and I really lift him and I can't control him on the way down, his head's hitting. Right? And if you get the wrong kid or coach and he doesn't get up, you are now in the, the backside, right? no matter what the score was. So that's why I don't for the kids that were asking. Um, the other thing is be careful on the back trip. Right? Some refs will call it if I'm jumping and cutting at the same time. I like to plan it. Plant and now, yeah, now I'll go over it. Okay? And you do got to be careful on that, drilling it. I'm watching guys' knees. Okay? But just be careful to jump, cut right away. All right? Kind of plant your legs and now I'll pull it back. All right? Moving on, two different reactions. If Sam, say Sam's got that, he's really, really low and he's pushing off my knees here and I'm having a hard time here, All right? I can, so again, if he's low enough, I'm just gonna pull him back. I didn't go to my crab. Right, I'll kind of punch him right in the gut with my lock, right, and I'll slide to my knees. Right? And again, it, it happens from the guy that's really low. Right? He will not let you lift. He will not come, let me come to the side here. Again, every time I'm trying to tighten left those wrists. Right, so that's one. And then the one that I really, really like, it kind of doesn't take a whole lot of effort at all. Right? When I get this, I'll try to collapse his hip in. Right? And I do that with my forearm. I'll rotate if you can't see, make sure you get over here, right? But I'll rotate my lock here. Right? And it's hard for him to stay up on it. And I just rotate my lock here. It collapses that hip. Right? What's the one thing you think I gotta be aware of? Grammy. Yeah, there we go again. Grammy, I'm taking them everything forward, right? See, I stay up, don't go down. Once I start to get it, he hits a Grammy. You can pull them back, right? or you can use that forearm, and you should feel your hip buckle in on that. And then that's all I'm gonna do with it, matter of fact. How important was it? I spent 40 minutes on it. And again, like I said, Sanderson called it a national, national championship position right? for their team. How important is that for, that, for you guys? Right? That you can mat return the guy, that you can give yourself a long period of time. Right? A long period of time in what? Huh? On yeah, in what? A match? In your career. That's how you get really good. All right? Now we're not talking about 30 seconds of match. All right? We're talking about 300 hours of a career on top. You can really start to pick up technique. Right? Questions on that? I'll move on after this. One, two, three, go.